All right, I'm bored again. So this time I'm just going to talk about the Synaptic Package Manager. They have some other options in here um, that I'll just talk about. The ones that I already talked about, I'm just going to skip over. Okay. Now in here, your Synaptic Package Manager, uh, you know how you check on a package, right? And you have this at the bottom, there's some details about it. Um, you can get a screenshot of it if you if they have one. But the point of this is that if you want to, you know, see some extra information, uh, you have to go to properties here, and then you see that there's, uh, you know, tabs here, for different things. Uh, this is a faster way to, to do that. Um, go to your um, your settings here and preference. Uh, in, in the generals tab here, uh, check this first one and apply it, and you'll see that you have you know the same options but it's already here for you so you just click on the tabs you know much better than doing the other way so there's something for that uh, for convenience uh, another one is um, let me see uh, enable this one in here uh, in your uh, preference again uh, this one it says clicking on icons uh, basically this one is um, supply it and uh, you know how back in the days you have to uh, you know click on this and it'll come up with uh, mark for installation or you have to uh, right click on this and mark for installation this one is, is uh, better all you do is just check on the box right and it autos you know uh, sets you up for uh, uh, installing it or you can just double click on uh, the, the names of it so double click on it and there you go you have that um, checked in now do do the same thing and the opposite will happen. So you double click on it, gone. Check on the box, gone. See that one step. I uh, love that. Uh, didn't know about that until uh, a few days ago. So that's cool. I like that one. It's much faster than the traditional way. Um, okay, so let's get to another one. Uh, let me see here in the preference. Uh, let me see here reloading outdated package information uh, I guess you can set it to as or uh, automatic if you like you know if you don't want to uh, uh, ask you not really important but noted there okay so let's get to on to the next one okay here uh, you can change or you can have extra information if you like I know most of us can read that you know the, the information here where it says latest version and description here but you can actually add some other stuff um, maybe download size I, I don't know right and I'll apply it and now you have the download size right here not really important but you know you can do something like that and uh, changing the fonts if you like to change the fonts there's uh, down here and uh, if you're blind you know make it bigger say uh, 18 or something and apply it and you see there you go it's, it's bigger let me go back to the default so that's something you can do there and let's get to the colors uh, the colors here um, let me give you an example uh, you see how uh, my installed uh, application now most of us can read the you know the, the green stuff here that it means it's been installed uh, and you see how it's white here right you can actually change that color uh, with that option over there. So let's say uh, we want the install package to be color. Um, pick a color, maybe blue, right? Blue here. Hit OK. Apply. And you see uh, all the ones that's been installed, uh, it will be blue. As you can see. So when you, uh, you know, go to all here. And uh, you're surfing for, um, or you're browsing to see which one you want, and you see the blue lines. He's like, "Oh shoot!" You know, I, I haven't. What the hell is that? There you go. You see like blue lines. You say, "Okay, I, I know I installed that, so I can skip that." Um, maybe it's useful. It looks fancy, but that's that's it for that one. Um, let me see here next house. Okay, this one uh, for temporary files. Uh, I'll say keep it as default. You know, if you have Bleach Bit installed, it should take care of this. 
And uh, as far as the history, uh, yeah, Bleach Bit also uh, I think uh, deletes it, but I'm not sure. But uh, if if you don't want to, uh, you know to keep your history, you don't have to. You just put uh, delete it. Now what is the history? Okay, let me show you the history here. Should be in the files here uh, under history. Basically, it tells you whatever you have installed or uninstalled. So you can see that I have uh, installed a lot of crap here. You know, and it keeps um, you know a reminder of what you have uh, removed it or didn't remove. So that's what the history is for. It's just your your um, you know whatever you have installed on your uh, machine, and that's the history record. So let's go back and see what else is there. Um, yeah, just keep this default, the highest version, okay. And this is not part of Synaptic, but uh, you know, is it here in the repositories anyway? So I'm just gonna talk about this. It's a, it's the software sources, but you know, it's it's the same thing. Uh, so first of all, if you know you want all the the software, you don't care about if it's proprietary or not. Just check all of this right here. Okay, this one, this one, this one, all of this. And you'll have all the lists for uh, either uh, you know non-open source doesn't really matter. You have it here, uh, so I would recommend checking all of this. Uh, you don't need the source code though, and you get all the repositories for that. Uh, in here, they have this one. This one is um, the unsupported updates, uh, or they call it the, the backports. Basically, the backports is. Um, you know a uh, Ubuntu um, you know the, the guys for Ubuntu they have like their own think of it as a PPA from Ubuntu okay so you know when you install stuff from a PPA is the higher version because um, every six months they freeze it um, like let's say like back in John T they had like um, was that open office 2.0 and everyone was like why don't you put uh, 2.1 or something like that uh, that's because they froze it and they like this one is the most stable you know this is the one that, that has been tested but if you want the newest version uh, you you enable the backports and you get like um, you know open office 2.1 or or Firefox 3.5 instead of uh, 3.0 all right but they say you know this one is like um, they don't support up uh, or uh, securities for it it's kind of like a PPA you know how you add a PPA it's the same thing but this one is by the Ubuntu guy so I recommend uh, yeah checking it and um, you know use it if you want the higher version but just just be noted that is uh, considered not supported but in most cases it's stable okay and uh, what else is down here oh yeah you want the updates every two days or um, weekly or two weeks if you're annoyed by it okay not really that important and the release uh, just keep it normal you don't want to do uh, the other crap I think that's pretty much it but um, oh they have the stats here in uh, at the end here you can just submit this if you like it's optional uh, it might help uh, them you know fix whatever the your favorite programs are but not really necessary if you want to uh, so that is pretty much it what I wanted to say I think the best part of uh, this whole thing was uh, the checking the fast checking for um, you know the I install process um, so that is it for this one